I saw this article, you know, circle on the internet a day or two ago, and uh, I read a little bit about it, and now I found an IGN article we're going to talk about. And of course, the topic of conversation today is going to be Roblox. If you guys haven't heard, but Roblox, it's it's a powerhouse. Like, I had an ex of mine, I had never heard of Roblox before until her kid was like, you got to play this game. I checked it out. I think it's pretty cool because you could do all kinds, it's, it's basically like, a knock off Minecraft, in my opinion. I know a lot of people don't like people saying that, but in my opinion, it kind of is. But you could do so much in Roblox compared to Minecraft, right? Um, anyways, IKEA is looking to team up with Roblox, so let's get into this article. Sorry for the lighting. The uh, light over there just turned off. Um, Ikea will pay people 1350 pounds. That's roughly, uh, I think it's like $14 and 20 cents an hour to serve meatballs at its virtual Roblox store. This, this, this to me is kind of groundbreaking that they're offering people virtual jobs to serve virtual food in a virtual Ikea at $14 and some change. Future store, Ikea, furniture store, Ikea, Ikea will pay people 1350 pounds to 1480 pounds per hour to work in a virtual store and it's op uh, it's opening inside of Roblox. So does that mean like they're going to charge people currency to like buy furniture at this IKEA store for like their little Roblox home like it's making me wonder. The co-work uh the co-worker game uh as it's called will let will let players experience work in I IKEA's virtual universe. The company said fans will be able to live in, uh, be able to live their home, furnish dreams, and get paid for it with a limited number of payrolls available. IKEA continues. Applications run June sixteenth, with the game itself launching on June twenty fourth. I believe uh, one of the articles I was reading it only has ten positions available right now to allow you to actually work at these virtual IKEAs. The immersive the immersive experience will give players the opportunity to experience IKEA's unique approach to careers, where non-linear career journeys are the norm and lateral moves across departments are commonplace. Um, I feel like a, a lot of retailers do this, where you can laterally move and potentially jockey your way up the food chain. Um, I know... It's gotten harder over the last couple of years. I know a lot of places want you to have a college degree in order to do stuff like this. But IKEA is not the only one that did this. I did this in grocery stores before I joined the Navy. What? <laughs> Shit. I joined the Navy 15 years ago. And when I was working in the grocery stores, they they allowed me to lateral move department to department to the point where like they were like, here's a manager role potentially. And I was like, no, nah, I don't want it. And I joined the Navy. Um, there are paid shifts on offer for 10 successful applicants. So there we go. 10 successful applicants that can make it through will be able to make roughly like $14, $14.20 an hour. They'll help customers and get promoted to move departments, working in different sections of the store like showroom and the bistro, helping people choose their furniture and even serving meatballs. You know what's funny? I didn't realize how big of a food court Ikea's have. Now, mind you, it's been over 10 years since I've stepped foot in an Ikea, but I didn't know they actually had, like, legitimate, like, food courts where you could go and get stuff while you're shopping for furniture or getting lost. You got to watch out for that Beyond part. Uh, I, that's probably one of my favorite jokes from Family Guy when it came to Bed Bath & Beyond. We're excited to be the first brand to launch paid work on Roblox to showcase how we do careers differently, bringing our unique career philosophy to life. Comments Ikea's country people and cultural manager Darren Taylor. At Ikea, there is no set rules to career progress. Our co-workers are able to change their roles, switch departments, and grow in any direction they choose, both in the game or in the real world. There are many ways to learn and grow at Ikea, and that's where Ikea and Roblox is all about. Now, like I said, I think Roblox is cool because they do offer all kinds of stuff for you to potentially check out and go and do. Where, like, you know, Minecraft doesn't allow you to... Well, Minecraft Creative Mode allows you to do stuff like this. But, uh, digging into detail, virtual interviews for shortlisted applicants take place for the fully remote virtual role between Thursday, June 14th and Tuesday, June 18th. 
Each, each successful applicant will be paid an hourly IKEA co-worker rate for their time in the game. You have to be 18 plus and in the UK or Republic of Ireland to apply. So you mean to tell me I cannot even apply for this job yet. <coughs> I was looking to moonlight, you know, um, successful applicants will be paid 1350, approximately 1678. Wait a second. I Googled 13 pound, 13 dollar, I mean, 13 pounds, 15, whatever earlier on Google. And it told me it was only like $14, but right here it's saying 1678. Uh, per hour, the IKEA hourly rate of pay from a London member of staff. The wage matches the London living wage set in the UK rather than the lower national living wage. Okay. Roblox, which has been an incredible 77.7 million daily active users, is used by a number of companies to promote their brands or virtual experiences. But the platform and the companies behind it have been accused of exploiting children who have Develop many of the experiences available to play on Roblox. Roblox has denied this. Now, that is one thing I have seen is kids that have done like uh, different maps and different like things that you can do, like developed it in the game. And Roblox basically being told, hey, this is child labor. We're going full screen. I think this right here is going to be interesting to see actually how it plays out. Like how many act like they said they said they have ten applicants available, but it genuinely makes me wonder how this is going to pan out. If this is even a viable model for the future to allow people to basically work from home and have a virtual experience in a real, you know, real world uh, company, much like Roblox here. Um, on top of that. If it does extremely well, are they going to expand and allow for more virtual workers to come in and do their thing? Or are they just going to stick with the 10? Just so, you know, is, is this just a flash in the pan that's going to allow them to, like, open the door, take a look and see what they can and can't do? You know what I mean? Like, this is like, this to me right here is just a social experiment. Um, but it's pretty cool that they're offering actual positions to allow people to work, one, and two, allow people to potentially like move up through the ranks and do whatever they got to do to get to a manager role in a digital marketplace or digital place, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm just intrigued to see where this goes. I really am. Comment down below. Like, do you think this is a good move by IKEA? Do you think this is a bad move, move by IKEA? Do you think this is something that's viable for future or no? I, I don't know. Anyways, you guys, don't forget to mash that like button and subscribe. Every little bit does help out the channel. We're on our way to 8,000 subscribers, and I can't do it without y'all. Y'all take it easy. Have a great and wonderful day, and I'll catch you later. Bye.